this video, I'm going to explain how I made my own intervalometer using Arduino. What an intervalometer is, is a device that you can use to control your DSLR camera programmatically. So now I'll show you how this one works. Uh, right now I'm going to power it using this USB power coming out of my laptop computer, but you can also use uh, an ex external power source like a 9 volt battery. Plug it in, and it automatically comes on and asks you to select the interval uh, that you want to input. So I turn the camera on, make sure it's all set up already in manual mode, and I select my interval. Maybe I'll set it for 10 seconds. Select it, and if I want, I can select my shutter, the uh, amount of time my shutter is open as well. But in this case, I'm not. I'm going to allow the camera to do that. I say off. Asks me to select start when I'm ready. Small countdown. And to save batteries, I made it shut the uh, LCD dis display off. Okay, now I'll explain actually how I made the device. So now I'll just open the box up. Pretty easy, just pinch it open like that. Inside you see a perf board, and you see the Arduino, and some wires. Basically, the Arduino is what powers this whole thing. Um, uh, what you have is the Arduino running a program, uh, powering the LCD display, and taking inputs from the buttons, and giving outputs to the 2.5mm. So this part came as a kit, I didn't have to do any of this, um, just had to write the program for it, which is in basically C. And it was uh, about 300 lines of code. Not too much, but it did take me uh, a weekend to do. Maybe not a whole weekend, but uh, it took a while. Now this is the perf board, which you can see I have my soldered uh, circuitry on it. It's not great looking, but it seems to work good. Right now I don't have any of this mounted very well. It's mostly just hot glued in. Um, this coming weekend I plan on actually mounting it with some, some hardware. So hopefully I can even get this out without damaging it because it's just glued, lightly glued in. Yeah, here we go. So what you see here is the top side. And as you can see, all these cables here that I'm holding all are used to power and communicate with LCD. This knob here uh, controls the contrast on the LCD and these two cables are for the buttons as you can see. Here is the uh, actually what's happening. Um, these two guys here are the output which will go eventually to this and they are controlled by a uh, a light, an LED light, which uh, shines or doesn't shine onto a uh, optical sensor. An optical sensor, when it gets light, it completes a circuit, and when it has no light, it has a closed circuit. And ultimately, that's all that the camera is asking for. It wants you to open or close a circuit for, to control the shutter. If the shutter is going to be open, it needs the circuit to be closed, and vice versa. So in the end, this whole thing is just turning this LED light off and on. That's all it's doing. Um, and so what I did basically is I have the LED light and then I have the optical sensor. I just put them up against each other and electrical taped around both of them. So none of the light from the outside gets in. And then when I put it on the board, I put a bunch of hot glue on it so it stays uh, solid in one place and the electrical tape stays on it. So that's basically how it works. Um, I did have to obviously do some uh, a good bit of cutting on 
on this case and it was a little bit difficult to fit inside but in the end it all fit fine and uh, I'm really happy with the project.